What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and enjoying your life today. Today we are reviewing the 2023 Subaru Impreza Sport. Huge thank you to Tyler Wright over at Stallman Subaru of Sterling, Virginia for allowing me to do this review for you guys today. If you guys are interested in this particular Impreza Sport or any Subaru product, I'll be sure to have Tyler's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. It is a beautiful day in mid to late February here in Virginia. We got blue skies, the sun is out it's just a tad bit chilly because we do have a wind blowing from the west but let's jump right into the video and talk about the exterior and performance so like i said this is a 2023 subaru impreza sport hatchback and this one just so happens to match my sweatshirt here today because this one is painted in lithium red pearl and lithium red pearl looks absolutely fantastic here on the sport but let's start over here at our headlights so with the sport you do get halogen headlights as well as halogen turn signals and then towards the bottom of your front bumper you may think that these are fog lights but they are in fact not fog lights these are daytime running lights that are only activated when you guys put the vehicle in drive so don't try to correct me saying they are fog lights because again they are in fact not and then working our way to the center of the front end you do get a satin black grill with two gloss black grill bars on both sides of your subaru emblem and that is what that looks like and then working our way down the front end you get two satin black low lower outer grills on both sides of your front bumper with a gloss black trim surround. So you can see that gloss black trim that surrounds your lower outer grill. That really pops, especially here on this red paint. And I think it looks very, very good. And then just below your upper grill, you will find your satin black lower grill, just for a little bit of extra airflow for that front radiator. And then all the way at the bottom of the front bumper, you get a body color front lip. No, this is not technically a, excuse my uh, voice crack. This is not technically a front lip, but it does remind me of one. So that that is why I called it that. And then if you guys were wondering about ground clearance, you get 5.1 inches of ground clearance with the Impreza Sport. One thing I thought I might want to point out you guys might be interested in is that you do get a windshield wiper de-icer, obviously for both wipers when you guys get the Sport. And then working our way down here, you do get these sport specific 18 inch dark gray metallic wheels with a machined face that are wrapped in 22540 Yokohama Avid S34 tires. Let me give you guys a view of the tread pattern on those tires as best as I can. And then just behind your wheel and tire setup, you do get a sport tuned four wheel independent suspension, again with the sport. And then also what is sport specific is that you do get an active torque vectoring system with your all wheel drive system. So I think that is pretty cool. And that is again, sport specific. So even though, um, you know, there's the limited trim above this, the limited trim does not get active torque vectoring. Again, it is sport specific. And then working our way over to our side view mirrors, you do get body color mirror caps with integrated turn signals. These side view mirrors are heated manual folding and this particular one has been optioned with option package 23 for twenty four hundred and seventy dollars it's also known as the convenience package and you do get blind spot monitoring with that so this is where you will find your blind spot monitoring on the driver side and then right about there is where you'll find your blind spot monitoring on your passenger side side view mirror um, another thing that you guys can get if you guys do want is that you do have the option of the $285 auto dimming exterior mirrors with a puddle light on the bottom of the side view mirrors. This one is not optioned with it, but if you guys do want the auto dimming exterior mirrors, again, that is a $285 option. But give you guys a little side profile of the Impreza hatch. As you guys may be able to see, you do get black window trim as well as body color door handles with keyless access. Keyless access does come with the Sport, so all you gotta do, walk up to the vehicle, put your hand behind the door handle, and the vehicle will unlock. You can also lock the vehicle by running your finger across these two hash marks here. So now the vehicle is locked again. Unlock it, put your hand behind the door handle, and then working our way all the way down to the side, you guys can see that you do get body color rocker spoilers, as Subaru calls them, and those are also sport specific as is this body color roof spoiler at the top of your hatch. This is also sport specific. You also get a body color shark fin antenna. You get a body color shark fin antenna on all the different um, Impreza models. I don't know if the base is a body color, but anyway, that's besides the point because we're not talking about the base right now. This is your third brake light. You also get a single speed rear wiper. Um, so it'll go like this, same speed, but you do have a couple different modes. So it'll either go like this, or it'll go the same speed, 
but just you know more reps if that makes sense and then just below that you have your Subaru emblem just below your Subaru emblem is where you will find your standard backup camera all vehicles past 2018 have been mandated to have a backup camera you'll get chrome badging on your hatch but let's take a look at what's in the hatch this is a manual opening hatch so you do got to open it up again manually let's take a look at the interior so there are two options that this one has been optioned with um, back here and that is the 156 dollar rear seat back protector which is located on the back of the seats it's basically like the easiest way i can describe it is like a floor mat on the back of the seat the only other option back here is the 62 dollar cargo net so that cargo net right there will cost you 62 bucks you'll get a light on this side which would be the driver's side of your trunk and then underneath all of that you have your spare tire your jack your tow hook and stuff like that and then you get a nice little cargo cover right here that comes with the sport um, so if you guys go to an airport you have stuff in the back Thieves cannot see the contents of which that you guys have in your trunk if you guys have that retracted. So pretty nice. And last but not least, you guys do see you have a body color rear bumper as well as a satin black rear valence with two reflectors. And then one more thing I wanted to point out is that your rear axle ratio is a 4.11. So if you guys are uh, you know, car nerds like I am, you guys might wanna know that. So I thought I would point that out to you guys. But let me know what you guys think of the 2023 Subaru Impreza hatch in the comments down below. Obviously this is the sport trim level. The Impreza is going to be redesigned or actually already has been redesigned for the 2024 model year. And I was just told this morning that dealers are gonna start getting the 2024 Imprezas on their lot come late March, early April. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully maybe I can get the first review of one on YouTube, probably not, but maybe one of the first, but let's move into performance. Popping open that hood reveals that two liter naturally aspirated boxer four cylinder that makes 152 horsepower and 145 pound feet of torque. It is mated to the $1,100 linear tronic continuously variable transmission. So the five speed manual does come standard with the Impreza Sport. But with the linear tronic CVT, you do get a zero to 60 time in nine seconds. If you guys were wondering about fuel economy, you can achieve 27 miles per gallon in the city, 35 miles per gallon on the highway for 30 miles per gallon combined with all wheel drive. I know those horsepower numbers and torque numbers are not you know the most impressive numbers in the world however I do think that this thing makes up for it with those phenomenal fuel economy numbers but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below but if you guys are enjoying the video so far today please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button I'm really trying to hit 10,000 subscribers and I cannot do that without your guys self I think we're literally only like 2,500 subscribers away from 10,000 so I would greatly appreciate it if you guys would take a second give the video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button but Let's move into the interior. As before mentioned, as standard with the Sport, you do get keyless access. So all you gotta do is have your key fob in your pocket, walk up to the vehicle, put your hand behind the door handle and the vehicle will unlock. Just to reiterate, you can also lock the vehicle by running your finger across these two hash marks right here. Um, you get one beep, which signifies that it is locked or signals that it is locked. So let's move into the interior. So taking a look at the driver's side door panel, one thing that you know catches my eye right off the bat is this red accent colored stitching. That red accent colored stitching um, comes standard on the Sport. You get some faux carbon fiber trim, you get an aluminum door handle, power mirror controls, unlock and lock buttons. You get automatic down windows in the front, but you do not get automatic up or down windows in the rear. This is to restrict your passenger window privileges. One thing that I really like about pretty much all Subaru products is that Subaru gives you a place to set your phone on the door panels, which is a very, very nice thing this is an iphone 14 pro max and it fits in there no problem you get a nicely padded and leather wrapped armrest with some accent colored stitching you get some light cloth right here and then the rest of the door panel is plastic and then you get a little bit of miscellaneous storage space at the bottom of the door panel as well as a spot you can set a deer park water bottle as you guys can see right here you get a harman kardon speaker that harman kardon speaker system comes with the 2470 dollar convenience package or also known as option package 23. what also comes with option package 23 and or the convenience package is a six-way power driver seat so you guys can see 
you got your seat controls right there and taking a look these are sport specific seats so you get like perforated cloth going down the center of the seat with like some black it kind of was like spider-man colors it looks pretty sweet um, and then the rest of the seat is very comfortable you get some nice bolstering on both sides of the seat you get that light color cloth that i was mentioning on the door panel and then also get some red accent colored stitching but let's move into the interior and let's see what the sport has to offer another thing i guess i wanted to point off uh point out right off the bat is that you get these aluminum pedals with some rubber they look absolutely fantastic and way better than what you got guys would find on like a premium a limited or something like that but let's fire her up so all you gotta do keep up in the interior push your foot on the brake and push to start and that is what the engine sounds like when it fires up this is to turn traction control on or off. This is to turn your blind spot monitoring on or off. Then you get this little scroll knob right here, and that is to brighten and or dim your gauge cluster as well as your backlit buttons. Let me close the door. And uh, let's talk about the interior. I'm gonna take my jacket off real quick. All right, jacket is off and I'm feeling a lot better. Let's take a listen to our turn signal. That is what the turn signal sounds like on the 2023 Impreza Sport. This is also your headlight control stock. So right now I got my headlights on, that is parking lights on, and then that is headlights in automatic. And then if you twist it all the way down, that is headlights off. Obviously this is also your high beam control stock. And let's take a look at our steering wheel. So you do get a leather wrapped steering wheel with some red accent colored stitching on the inside of the steering wheel. You also get steering wheel mounted paddles. So this is your downshift paddle. This is your upshift paddle. You got your media controls on this side of your steering wheel. So this is to go back on a track. This is to go forward on a track. This is to volume up. This is to volume down. This is to switch between your different AM, FM, Sirius XM, Bluetooth audio, USB, basically your different media sources. And then this info button controls that screen up top there, which I'll show you guys in a second. This is to pick up on a phone call and or speak to the vehicle. This is to hang up on a phone call. And then these buttons down here are to control your productivity screen in between your uh, different gauges. And then because this is a sport with Subaru EyeSight, you do get adaptive cruise control. And then you have your sport mode and intelligent modes down here. But let's take a listen to our horn. That is what the horn sounds like on the 2023 Impreza. Let's take a look at our gauge cluster. So you can see you got your RPM gauge, you have your speedometer, and you can see it's backlit in red. So those red backlit gauges are also sport specific, and I think they look absolutely fantastic in my personal opinion. Get your digital speedometer readout. That is to let you know if you're getting bad gas mileage, which we are at the moment. And then if this was on this side and it was turned green, like when we're coasting or something like that, um, then that lets us know that we are getting better fuel economy. You can see 234 miles, that is our odometer, and then that is our trip A or trip B information. So right now, trip B is uh, 233 miles. Right now you can see we're intelligent drive mode, P is for park, then you have your fuel gauge at the bottom of your productivity screen with your fuel pump, which has an arrow pointing to the right side of the vehicle. That means you fill the vehicle up on the right hand side. Same goes for pretty much every other vehicle on the road. But like I said, to control this screen, you have these buttons down here. So let's go throughout the screen. So going up one, that is like your different analytic stuff. That is your fuel range. That's again, another analytical thing. You can go into that menu. This is your tire pressure stuff, digital speedometer read. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, if you pull on this, it brings you into a different menu. So you can go in between your different screen settings, warning volume stuff, rear seat reminder, eyesight stuff, vehicle setting stuff, default settings, and go back. I'm gonna go into eyesight because um, that's always a cool screen. So you have lead vehicle acquisition sound, lead vehicle moving monitor function, cruise control, acceleration characteristics, this kind of stuff, and then you can go back. I'm gonna go back into the other screen, and that's really about it for that screen. There is one more thing. You guys can see down here, you have this trip reset button. So you can see, again, you got trip B. It says 233 miles. If I press and hold on that, that will reset back to 0.0, .0 miles, which it is reset back to zero now. And really that's about it for the steering wheel. Over here, you have your windshield wiper control stock for both the front windshield and your rear glass. Push button start. And like I said, you've got your uh, steering wheel mounted paddle shifters, upshift and downshift. Again, 
you can see this screen up top here. I know the GoPro is not picking it up very well. Um, unfortunately, maybe it will pick it up better down there. So again, if I press this info button, that is to control this screen. So let's go throughout this screen. So you can see on the upper left-hand side of the screen, you get your time. On the upper right-hand side of the screen, you have your current ambient exterior temperature. 310 miles is your fuel range. And then all the way at the bottom, you guys can see it says 0, 20, 40, 60. That is like your instant fuel fuel economy I'm pressing the info button now which brings you into like your um, date so it's the Friday the 24th you can go into that button that screen this is like your different eyesight stuff go down one more this is like your it basically is telling us that we're on level ground at the moment these are your different temperatures that is your weather go down one more that is like Bluetooth stuff go down one more and that brings us back into the screen that we started this video on again to control that screen you press this info button mounted on the steering wheel and then just below that this does have the optional $2470 option package 23 also known as the convenience package which includes an 8 inch Starlink multimedia plus system with the Harman Kardon sound system so I believe even with the sport you still get the 8 inch screen however I guess this is the 8 inch Starlink multimedia plus screen not quite sure what the difference is between this and you know the regular screen that's also eight inches but that's besides the point you get your home button up top here this lets me know what kind of service my phone has so I got two bars I have a full battery and then I'm also connected to Bluetooth you get your phone stuff Starlink stuff settings uh, shortcut apps my Subaru and then these are also blank screens actually I guess that's your radio so you can bring this back into your other screen if you wanted to just by dragging it over there and then this is a blank screen um, so basically you guys can adjust this screen as you want to this is another screen so you can see your radio is on that screen I believe you can bring the radio back to uh, here if you wanted to by pressing that shortcut button which I guess would be radio um, and you can bring it directly into either AM, FM, or whatever you want it to. And then you get your home button down here. You got a CD exchanger um, just below your screen. Again, you got your home button, got your volume knob, you have your tuning knob, you get your radio button, phone button, app button, media button, which will bring you into your Bluetooth stuff, USB stuff, or your CD stuff. Again, you get your home button. This is to go back on a track. This is to go forward on a track. And again, that is your tuning knob. Just below that, you have your climate control settings. So this is a single zone climate control vehicle. And then you have your hazard button. That's what your hazards sound like. And then below all of that stuff, you get two USB-A ports, an auxiliary jack, and a 12-volt outlet. And then down here, you have a great spot. You can set your phone if you want to while it is charging, either plugged into the USB-A ports or your 12-volt outlet. This is your gear shifter. So again, park, reverse, neutral drive. If you want to go into manual mode, flip that over to the left, and then you can control the transmission um, with the steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. One thing I really like about this car is that you do have a good old fashioned handbrake. Personally, I like the old fashioned stuff more than like the electronic parking brake that you have like that pull up switch. Just personal preference. If your battery goes dead, your emergency brake doesn't work. Whereas in here, it still does. Fantastic. And then um, as standard with the Sport, you do get heated front seats with two levels of adjustability, both high and low. You get two cup holders right here. So right now I got my Yeti, um, my Yeti coffee cup as well as a Brita uh, water bottle. You also get a nicely padded and leather wrapped center fold down armrest with some accent colored stitching. If you guys want to open that up, you get two more USB-A ports as well as a 12 volt power outlet. You get a spot you can set like a mini pen right in there and then you get about half of my forearm fits down in there. So, you know, a decent amount of storage space, but really not all that much storage space in your center console. You get a regular rear view mirror here. You guys can get the optional auto dimming rear view mirror um, for an additional cost. I'll put the price of that on screen now. This is to turn your lane keeping stuff on or off. And then this is to turn your pre-collision braking stuff on or off. So th these are uh, two of your different Subaru EyeSight features. You got your Subaru Starlink, which is basically like roadside assistance buttons right here. And then again, Again, with the convenience package, you do get a power moonroof. So here are your power moonroof controls. You can either slide it by pressing
pressing this, or you can tilt it up like that by pressing these buttons here. This is to tilt it and this is to close it. Um, and then this particular vehicle has also been optioned with the optional $110 LED map and dome lights, which basically just gives you um, these lights in LED and all the other interior lights are also LED. You get your Subaru iSight cameras up top here. So you get two different cameras. And I do wanna go uh, and read to you guys what comes with the Subaru iSight suite of features. So what is included in the iSight features includes pre-collision braking, pre-collision throttle management, adaptive cruise control with lane keep assist, lane departure warning, sway warning, and lead vehicle start alert. Lead vehicle start alert personally is my favorite feature um, with all the different eyesight features. So basically if a car in front of you moves at a stoplight and you stay in position, it's basically gonna go beep and it's gonna give you a little warning on the screen that says uh, vehicle ahead has moved. Um, so that's a really cool feature and that is one of my favorite features of the Starlink system or the, uh, excuse me, the eyesight system. You get your vanity mirror with a vanity light. One thing that's pretty cool is that no, this does not slide. However, you do get a nice little slide out. So if the sun is right here, you can slide this thing out and then the sun will no longer be bothering you. And then last but not least, with the visor, you get this nice little like uh, band. So you can set your registration here, money, business cards, you know, any paper product like that. You get an OPU panel for your driver. Passenger gets an OPU panel and then your rear passengers also get OPU panels. Here's a look at your sunroof again. Um, and then I do want to show you guys, you do get a lockable glove box with a good amount of storage space down in there. You get some faux carbon fiber trim. You get some red stitching throughout the entire interior and on the dash and stuff like that. It looks pretty sweet. More carbon, faux carbon fiber trim. Now I do want to read over a couple features or I guess options that this particular one has been optioned with. So again, this does have the $2,470 option package 23, also known as the convenience package, which includes a moon roof blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert that eight inch starlink multimedia plus system with the harman kardon sound system which by the way sounds very very good as well as a six-way power driver seat a couple other options that this one has is the 156 dollar rear seat back protector which i showed you guys already as well as the 110 dollar led map and dome lights and last but not least the 62 dollar cargo net all right i'm gonna throw some government safety ratings on screen right now so you guys can see five stars in every aspect so if, if you guys do end up getting in an accident just know that you are in a very very safe vehicle i'm actually surprised that this thing gets five stars in all aspects that is a very very good thing and that definitely gives uh, this car a couple brownie points so now i'm going to throw the rest of the window sticker on screen you guys can take a look and see exactly what this thing has as standard you can see the fuel economy you can see the optional equipment uh, but basically i'm just going to highlight the msrp right now so the msrp of the way that this particular 2020 Subaru Impreza Sport Hatchback is spec is $28,000. $913. I think that's a very fair price, especially considering that this vehicle is actually very nice. I personally think that it looks pretty good. Um, and really the reality is, do you need leather? No. Is it nice to have leather? Maybe yes, if you guys want it, uh, but you still get heated cloth seats, blind spot monitoring, power moonroof. I mean, it's still a really, really nice vehicle. And then one more thing that I missed um, when we were talking about the steering wheel is that you do get a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel, which is very, very nice. Um, but really that's about it for these front seats. I do wanna show you guys what's going on in the rear seats before we move into the driving portion of the review. So let's see what these rear seats have to offer. It's very windy outside, uh, but that is what your rear door panel looks like. Pretty much the exact same as the front minus all the uh, controls that the driver has. But again, you do not get an automatic up or down rear window, but you do also have a great spot. You can set your phone in here as well. Aluminum door handle nicely padded armrest with some red accent colored stitching you can fit a water bottle as well as some more miscellaneous items on the left hand side of the water bottle holder and then these are what your rear seats look like same pattern that you would find on the front two seats minus like all the bolstering that the driver and front passenger get but let's step into the interior and uh, let's see what the uh, Impreza has to offer back here so you do not get a center fold down armrest and you do not get any connectivity features here in the rear uh, but you do get an opu panel with a great spot you can set your dry cleaning same thing on this side as well you get an opu panel as well as a spot to set your dry cleaning 
I am adjusted behind myself. I am five foot nine. You guys can see how much leg room I have, how much knee room I have, as well as the amount of headroom that I have as well. I would say I probably have another two, three inches of headroom left. So maybe if you were like six, five, you probably wouldn't be the most comfortable uh, back here in these rear seats because this does have a pretty sleek exterior design, which kind of limits your headroom in the rear. So I think if you were like six, one, six, two, I still think you'd be totally fine in these rear seats. But once you get, you know, six, three, six, four, six, five, you know you're probably not going to be the most comfortable in these rear seats one more thing i wanted to show you guys that has to do with these headrests um, that i didn't show you guys is that they are adjustable which is really really nice so if you're on a long road trip you're tired of supporting your head with your neck um, you can push this forward and you can see it's going to support your head so you can just rest your head back on the seat and still be able to drive no problem if you guys no longer want the um, headrest to support your head all you got to do is pull up on it and then it goes back into its original Original position but there are a few different um, functions in between you got one setting two setting three setting four setting and yeah so four different settings one two three and four that is your most aggressive setting but you know we've talked about the exterior we've talked about the performance and now we've talked about what's going on here in the interior of the Impreza hatch so I want to see what this thing's like to drive as I'm assuming you guys do as well so I will see you guys in the driver's seat all right guys now on to the driving portion of the review where we start our videos here we go over these speed bumps at five miles an hour and we rate the vehicles on a scale of one to ten that was about six to seven miles an hour still did very well now let's see how it does on the second speed bump again we got to go five miles an hour it's kind of difficult to go exactly five but that's five now i'm going to give this thing a eight point one so this actually rides very well over those speed bumps which kind of leads me into my next point even though this does have the sport tuned four wheel independent suspension it doesn't ride like a sport tuned suspension where it's like super firm and like it's not comfortable to drive day to day because it's still a daily drivable sport tuned suspension like it soaks up bumps very very well um, it's just going to handle a little bit better than what you would find in other Impreza's like the limited and the uh, premium and stuff like that so still even with the sport tuned suspension still rides very well and we're going to pull out onto this road here and let's see how she accelerates so one thing that i noticed and i don't know if this is like placebo or something like that but i feel like this thing accelerates better than the um, premium that i did a video with a couple weeks ago and i was trying to figure out what the rear axle ratio was on the premium versus the axle ratio here on the um, sport which is a four 11 and I couldn't find anything that would say anything about the um, premiums axle ratio so I don't know if this one has like a higher axle ratio maybe the premium had like a 390 whereas this one has a 411 I'm not sure uh, because I couldn't find it online but this thing definitely feels a little bit zippier than what you find in like the premium Impreza but nonetheless uh, the premium Preza was still great, but this is just better in my opinion because I think it looks better. You get 18 inch wheels, you get the red stitching throughout the interior. Um, this one has also been optioned nicer than the premium uh, that I did a video with didn't really have any options, whereas this one has the $2,470 convenience package, which I know $2,000, almost $2,500 is a lot for a package on a vehicle. However, I do think that it is worth it um, just because, you know, you get a moonroof, you get the blind spot monitoring, you get the Harman Kardon sound system. The Harman Kardon sound system, by the way, sounds fantastic. It's got a really good amount of bass. Like, it's not too bassy, but it also has good clarity. And, you know, I personally am a big fan of Harman Kardon sound systems in any vehicle. Um, so, you know, I like sound uh, or I like sound systems in cars so personally for me I always like to have you know the best sound system that I can get um, so you know that's just my personal preference if you guys don't really care about you know the sound quality or you know you don't really listen to music in your car then you guys might consider skipping the convenience package however that is a recommended package by me if that is something that you guys are interested in again if you don't want to spend the 2500 bucks I understand all right, I'm going to do this thing here. So watch this car go and watch what happens on my screen. 
you can see vehicle ahead has moved. That is the lead vehicle um, uh, feature that I was talking about. That is one of my favorite features with the Subaru EyeSight suite of features. I know it's just like a funny little feature, but again, that's just my favorite feature on the EyeSight system. I mean, obviously I love the adaptive cruise control, uh, but I think that's a cool feature that you don't really seem to find on uh, you know, any other vehicle um, nowadays. The only other vehicle that I've seen something like that is on like a Volvo product. I can't remember if it was an XC4 that I experienced that on or an XC60 but I do know that the Volvo had it but again the Volvo is another you know $20,000 more expensive at least than this car I think it'd be like twenty five dollars to $30,000 more expensive um, to you know have the same exact feature so you know the Volvo is going to be a little bit nicer on the interior with the leather with the sound deadening and stuff like that but if you guys are looking at a car, your budget's $30,000, but you still want something nice, you still want something that's zippy, you want something that looks good, I think this thing, you know, checks all those boxes. Again, styling is subjective, so you may not, you know, dig the look of this, but if you do dig the look of this, then, you know, for 30K, this is, well, under 30K, this is like 1,500 bucks under $30,000, and, uh, you know, for a vehicle now in 2023, it's hard to find vehicles that are affordable, you know, that aren't tin cans, you know, and I say that in every video, but really what's nice about Subaru products in general is that, you know, they make an affordable vehicle, but the affordable vehicle is also still really, really nice and it still sounds great on the interior, like with its sound deadening. I think they do a good job with their sound deadening for the price and uh you know it's just a nice driving vehicle overall you know it handles pretty well like it definitely has less body roll in this than um the premium that i did a video with uh, but there, you know there still is a little bit of body roll but you're definitely going to be able to push the sport more on a back road than you're going to be able to push the premium on a back road so um you know overall i'm i really like driving this you know it rides great it's you know peppy i'll give it a little bit of gas here And that's just in regular drive mode. So, you know, it's not the quickest thing in the world. However, if you press this S mode, now you're in sport mode. Now the throttle response is better and you get a little bit more oomph to your acceleration. But all you gotta do, click it back into intelligent mode. Now we're just in our regular driving mode. So that's one thing also that I really like is that you can switch between your different mode drive modes on the fly just by the push of the button on the steering wheel. When you push the button, it downshifts. So again, this is a CVT. Um, so it's not like a literal like downshift. You're not downshifting from like fourth to third. The CVT is just changing, you know, it's uh, ratio or whatever however the CVT works I don't know quite how a CVT works but I do know um, that uh, basically downshifts that's the best way that I can describe it and then if you guys want to have a little bit more fun on your drive if you're like on a back road or something like that and you want to be able to control the gears yourself flip this thing over to manual mode and then you can downshift once downshift twice downshift three times downshift four times and then I'm gonna show you guys the paddle shifter response relatively responsive honestly i'm kind of surprised at the uh that it's more responsive than i expected it to be but i i noticed that like a lot of you guys in the comments um are always like how does it downshift like or how's the engine braking so let's do a little test with the engine braking i also want to catch this light so i'm going to slow down a little bit and then i'll downshift you know the engine braking is pretty decent it definitely slows you down a little bit um, but it's not like an insane amount of engine braking I'll do a little acceleration here paddle shifter response is actually more decent than I expected it to be it's pretty responsive and um, again I'll give you guys a second to hear what the road noise and wind noise sounds like it's a windy day keep that in mind And again, in my, here, I'll hit a bump. And that's what the bump sounds like when you guys hit it. And again, in my personal opinion, I think this thing has a uh, great or great sound deadening. For the price, it's actually pretty dang quiet and it rides fantastic. 
Um, you get a ton of different eyesight features again as um, standard with the Sport, which is really, really nice. And again, it's just a great riding vehicle. You know, the acceleration may leave a little bit to be desired for some of you guys who like, you know, speed. But again, this isn't built for speed. This is built for a comfortable daily driver, something that looks good, something that's comfortable and something that's affordable that, you know, more people can access this than you can access, you know, a $60,000 car. But they still give you like $60,000 car amenities with the adaptive cruise control, which is very nice, as well as the blind spot monitoring, you know, with the convenience package, which is 2470 bucks. But again, for under 30K, you know, you get a really nice riding vehicle. It's, you know, uh, pretty comfortable. It's actually really comfortable as well. And uh, it's just a great overall vehicle. To summarize this vehicle, Harman Kardon sound system sounds great. Again, I recommend you guys get the convenience package. If you guys don't want to spend the money, I understand you guys can skip it. Uh, but again, really nice riding vehicle, great vehicle for $30,000. And uh, again, that's it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. Like I said earlier on in the video, I am gunning for 10,000 subscribers and I cannot do that without your guys' help. We're literally only less than 2,500 subscribers away from 10,000. So I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys would subscribe. But that's it for today's video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.